If you're looking to start or grow a business online, then you have most likely heard about websites, funnels, and landing pages. However, a lot of times when I'm helping business owners to get better results, they often bring up the fact that they don't really know the difference between a website and the funnel and the landing page. So in this video, I'm going to make it simple as can be and break down exactly where websites, funnels, and landing pages enter into the conversation and the benefits and disadvantages of each when it comes to growing your online business. On the screen, I have a real simple mock-up of a typical website structure. Now, most of us have probably attended a website at some point and landed on the home page, the main page of a domain. So the website, the concept of the web, like a spider web, is that there's multiple different pages in this structure and someone who lands on one page has the ability to go to different pages. There's really no rhyme or reason. You have the ability through the navigation menu or elements on the page to go and learn about the products that the company might have or the services about the people involved, the team members, etc. There usually is a contact page. And usually nowadays there's a blog, some sort of way to see updates, see some sort of, some sort of educational content that helps the business to position themselves as an authority in the space. The function of a website is that it's like a digital brochure and it allows people to learn more about the business, to give that no like trust factor. For example, if you see an advertisement on YouTube or Facebook or on television, and you're like, well, that looks really interesting, but I've never heard about this business before. You probably will Google or visit the main business website to learn more about the business. Now, the disadvantage of a website is the fact that there is no real structure. There's no navigation. There's no direction as to what people should do when they land there. It's almost like when you walk into a grocery store. You could go to the produce aisle. You could go to the dairy aisle. You could go to the candy aisle, which is where I usually go. And you can just go and explore and pick up stuff as you want. But there's no real flow to the store. There's no one way for you to go. You go where you want to go. That's where a website has a disadvantage because if you are trying to offer products for sale or services to purchase, someone could easily get distracted and go to the blog get caught up in the blog and then leave. Or they might go to your About Us page, learn more about you, your team, the school you went to, whatever. And then they might go and Google the school or go do something else. So there's a lot of distractions and that is what kills the sales conversions, the optimization for the website to get you results. So this is where a funnel comes in. Unlike a website, a funnel is very much a step-by-step -step process. Typically, there's one way into the funnel and there's one specific end result that you want to achieve from that funnel. So like you can see here on the screen in this simple funnel example, you might have, say, a free book that you're giving away. So you might be sending traffic to a squeeze page. And then from that squeeze page, they give you their contact information and they land on the offer page, which might have the free book, the free course, the free video, whatever. And then there's some sort of offer for more, more training, a consultation, a coaching, whatever it is. And then you're trying to get them to click to go order or schedule or do something, which would then lead them to a thank you page, right? At each step of the funnel, there is one thing that you want them to do. You don't want them to get distracted and go visit five other pages. You want them to look at the page, look at the message on that page, and take the next step. So a funnel for the most part is broken down into four kind of categories or four sections. You have the attention, the interest, desire, and action. And these are fundamentals of most marketing messaging in general. But in this case, we're actually laying it out over the funnel. For example, for attention, you might be using social media, Google search engines, paid advertising, to get attention to something. Hey, free ebook, free webinar, whatever it is. From there, you've got their interest and now they go and land on this squeeze page showing, yeah, I'm interested. From there, you have now shown that you do have something of interest to them. So then they might give you their contact information so that they could learn more. 
And now through learning more through the webinar, through the free ebook, through the free video series that you have for them, you have built up the desire for your product or service, which leads to them taking action. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, unlike a website that has many different paths that someone could take and they might get lost along the way, a funnel is very much a step-by-step -step process that when followed step-by-step -step, will get them to the desired end result that you would like them to take, whether it's to buy a product, purchase a service, schedule a meeting, whatever it is. Now, here's the thing. This is an example of a simple funnel. A more complicated example would be kind of like what Frank Kern has done in this example. So he's got paid ads that lead people to a sales page. From there, it takes them through the offer steps of the funnel, whether it's upsells and downsells and thank you pages, but he also collects their email. So now if they don't convert in this funnel, he can send follow-up emails to send them into another funnel for a different end result for a different product or service. If they don't convert in that funnel, then he can either send them by email to another funnel, or he might have remarketing, retargeting ads, or even cold traffic that he's sending to this other funnel. And so now instead of just one funnel, you have a series of funnels, but each funnel has a specific end result that you are looking to achieve. So it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. But at the end of the day, a funnel is very much a linear process of one specific thing that you want them to take. So now you've got websites, you got funnels, where do landing pages come in? Well, the real difference between a website and a funnel is that the landing pages are where you're sending your people to, to enter certain parts of the funnel. So for example, you might be sending YouTube ads to a squeeze page. Well, this squeeze page would be a landing page, but you don't have to only send people to the squeeze page. You could also be sending people from an Instagram ad, for example, to the offer page where on that offer page, there's a free book, a free course, a free membership or a paid membership, et cetera, but they don't need to go to the squeeze page first. They could enter the funnel right here and still take the next step, which is to order, and then end up on the thank you page. And even after they purchase, you might send a follow-up email that directs them to the thank you landing page that has the details for them to collect their paid book for instructions on how to attend the coaching, et cetera, et cetera. So the landing pages are really just the points in the funnel that you are sending traffic to. But the landing pages are typically, they have one goal in mind, and that's to move to the next step. Now you could have a website built up of landing pages. Each one of these could be a landing page, except you have the ability to go to any of the other pages. Whereas with a funnel, there's only one next step. So don't think of the website pages as necessarily being completely different from a landing page, it's just the structure of a website and the way the pages are set up. I use a platform called Kajabi, which is an all-in-one platform and it has ability to build website pages and landing pages. But the main thing to understand is that with landing pages, there is a structure when it's applied to the funnels compared to say a website that has a navigation menu and you might have, you know, a call to action. You might have a pop-up, et cetera, on your pages, but there is the ability to get lost in a website that doesn't happen in a funnel. And here's what I mean about getting lost. So let's say you're sending 100 people to your squeeze page. Well, we know not all 100 people are going to opt in and provide their contact information. So you might have 20 people who actually provide their contact information. And then of those 20 people, maybe only five of them who see the offer will actually go on to the, the order page. And once they land on the order page, maybe not all five of them will purchase. Maybe only three of them will purchase. So from every 100 people that enter your funnel at the squeeze page, three of them turn into buyers. So what you want to start focusing on is watching for all the steps in the funnel to see how it's converting. 
you can't really do that with a website because people are bouncing all over the place. You could send people to your homepage and they go to your blog and never see your products. You could send people to your homepage. They might go to your products and they might purchase, or they might want to go learn more and then go to your about us and then get distracted and leave. So a funnel helps to remove the distractions that a website typically allows to exist. That's the biggest key. The landing pages are really just the pages that make up either the website or the funnel. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions about this, comment below. Uh, if you're curious, I do offer strategy sessions for how to improve your funnel structure, make it better, convert better, et cetera. To learn more about that, click the link below this video. And if you're curious about how to do the whole mapping and planning out of a funnel, you'll want to check out this funnel video next, which will make things probably a lot more clear. I'll talk to you soon.